Hello everyone. I am Mazana David. I am really, really sad. The Lord is not happy. And I can feel it. The Lord is not happy. I can feel it. Very well. The Bible says that there is joy in heaven over a single soul that repents. What about when a thousand souls go to hell? How unhappy will the Lord be? That's not even the worst situation, the worst of it all is that Christians in their thousands, in their hundreds, in their millions are going to hell from the church. It is sad. Very, 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 very sad. Where is your soul going to? Okay. Why I had to come online and share the word of the Lord with us with a very heavy heart is because I had a revelation. I was in church on the 22nd of October 2017 as we were worshiping in church we were praying and I had a revelation. I saw a congregation of Christians. They were worshiping God and they were so happy. They were praising God. God drew my attention to a wall, very thick glass wall. It was separating the Christians from the kingdom of God. I saw the other side of it. It was the kingdom of God, real, the kingdom of God. It was beautiful, but there was a wall, a glass wall, separating the Christians. The congregation I saw from the kingdom of God. They were so happy. In fact, I could see them going there to touch the world. They were touching the world and they were so happy. They were full of excitement. They were full of so much courage and hope that they were already in the kingdom of God. But the world was separating them. And because they were seeing the kingdom, they were seeing it, they were so happy. But none of them could enter the kingdom. Let me read that what the Lord told me. Then I hear the voice of God saying, My children are being deceived. They think that being religious and active in church without a holy and a righteous living, they will make heaven. Now tell them that it is in my nature that no evil person enters my holy kingdom. I have spoken and I have been speaking. My pastors are deceiving my church that my grace covers their sins and that I no longer care about the life they live. Contrary to this, hear this, before the appearance of the fullness of God's grace, God overlooked. But now that the eternal sacrifice have been made through the blood and death of Jesus Christ, I judge 
every disobedience and the taking of my grace in vain. Are you among those who have been deceived? Are you among those who are numbered? Among those who are falling away? Do you believe that the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men and that the grace teaches us to run away from all ungodliness, to deny ungodliness and all unrighteousness and that we should persevere and wait, keep our garments unspotted by the world and wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Is this your understanding of grace? If it is, fine. If your understanding of grace is that we should continue in sin because grace abound, you are lost. Unfortunately, when you fail an exam on earth, yeah, you may have the opportunity to receive and write the exam. But if you miss the kingdom of heaven, it is once and for all. There won't be a second chance. I am happy that everything the Bible says is coming to pass. But I am not happy because nobody is listening. People are not listening. Like what God told Isaiah. That hearing they will hear, but they will not understand. They will see with their eyes, but their minds will never receive what they see. Let they turn to me and be healed. Are you going to hell? Are you on your way? To the fire of hell, where people shall live forever in the flames of fire. I remember the people I saw in church in this particular revelation. They never had any sense of being alienated from the kingdom of God. They never had any thought of being cut off from the kingdom of God. They were so happy. They were happy. Are you a Christian and you stay abroad? Are you a Christian and you are a homosexual? Are you a Christian yet you steal? Are you a Christian and you live in sexual immorality? You are cohabiting? Are you a Christian yet you are possessed with demons? And you believe that the grace of God covers your sin? No. The grace of God draws us close to this great and holy God. But the grace of God does not leave us in sin. The grace of God helps us to come out of sin so that we can put on a new nation. Listen. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. It says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you except ye be reprobates. Are you in the faith? Have you lost the sense of being alienated? If at all you are not making it. If you are not born again, if you do not put on a new man that is renewed after Christ, if you do not remove the old self, if you do not mortify the deeds of the flesh in you and put on Jesus Christ, you will not enter the kingdom of God. Several places of the Bible, God said we should examine ourselves. But how many Christians are examining their ways? Making a confession with your mouth is not enough. That confession should 
should show you a new way you should live. If you confess your faith that there is no work, the work is that you stay away from sin, stay away from adultery. When Zacchaeus met with Jesus Christ, he repented. When Matthew met with Jesus Christ, he repented. If Zacchaeus said, I am going to give back everything I took wrongly from people, I'm going to reform them fourfold. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 28. He said, But let a man examine himself. Are you examining yourself? Test yourself. Whether you are in the Lord. If you are not in the Lord, please retrace your steps. Millions of Christians today, we end up in hell. Because this is the time of the falling away. The Bible says that except the falling away comes first. Jesus will not return. This is the time. Call yourself to order. Cry for your sins. Cry for your spiritual poverty. And wail because of your sins. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Do all within your power. To run hard after the Lord. I know it's a struggle. But if you... Sit down and don't want to do anything about the salvation of your soul. You will never make it. And the Lord will say, get out from my sight. You workers of iniquity. Go to the place, prepare for the devil and his agents. Please, the kingdom of God is ready. Jesus has gone ahead of us to prepare a place for us. Let us try so that the place he has prepared for us will not be empty on the last day. I want to encourage you to run with untiring zeal. Run with untiring zeal. Run with unquenchable zeal. Visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and also biblicalsexualpurity.com Subscribe to my YouTube channels Hosanna E.E. E. David and also Ego Eye Opener. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.